Okay guys, welcome to Rumble's fish room. So, um, I've actually been in the fish room for about an hour, cleaning up. Um, if you're really observative in the videos, you'll notice on top of the tanks has been getting pretty filthy. Um, so like, basically, I end up using the lids as a workbench. Bad habit, I know, but it, it happens. So, every now and then I've got to clean up. My lids are really dirty at the moment. So, I'm thinking, about, it's gonna sound stupid. I'm thinking about doing an episode that's literally just cleaning, measuring, and cutting lids. But, <clears throat> it's gonna be a hugely, it's gonna be pretty much a full day to do it. And if I'm doing regular content, um, I think I need to take you guys on that ride. Um, would it be a satisfying video? So, <clears throat> There's three steps, three or uh, four steps to this clean up of the fish room. So step one's done, get all the loose shit out. So I've done that. Now step two is cleaning the floor and I might even seal the floor this week. I don't know yet. It depends how dry I can get the floor. There's some suspicious activity on the floor. Um, the plan was to shut the stingray tank down and then do the ceiling of the floor and since shutting that down I've, there's more water on the floor so <clears throat> it might be clean the floor today get rid of the leaks over the next couple of days I might need to get the grinder out and grind the floor it depends whether I want to seal the floor with the methylene blue on the floor um, I do have the cutting all that polishing disc to get that blue off but it's not polishing it's a just a diamond tips grinding disc um no not grinding uh yeah i don't know whatever you want to call it it's a floor disc um but it's quite time consuming i don't know we'll see how the floor comes up and then decide so <clears throat> i think that the tank there is leaking from the bottom which would make sense. I did some dodgy ass patching on those two, two and a half foots down there. Anyway, let's get the high pressure cleaner out. All right guys, <clears throat> let's get a good before. Um, my plan is with this bad boy, do like under and around the thing and then I've got, I've got like the flat one to do the middle area. Um, so I actually got a new high pressure cleaner, uh, Gurney 5000, not sponsored believe it or not. Um, <clears throat> I was going to get like the smaller one because I mainly use it for cleaning my dirt bike, but I got the bigger one for jobs like this. Um, the only thing is I do have to be careful using this on my dirt bike. It'll actually stuff all the bearings but crazy how much just that is doing without it attached or anything but anyway let's get started i was thinking about hosing down the lids i'm not sure yet haven't decided if you've seen like a old old video float around facebook i actually got the high pressure cleaner and hosed the whole fish room down once <laughs> we might do it again we might not um <clears throat> the only uh 240 volt in here is that cord there which goes up there oh while we're here speaking of up there i've got a bit of a situation with black mold so that's why i want to get the lid sorted all right so let's get initial first initial impressions of the new um pressure cleaner That made a huge difference. I love it. Um, I don't know how well the floor cleaner is going to do because this is an aggressive cleaner and this is only just taking it off. But I'll do around the blocks and then we'll have a gander. All right, guys, <clears throat> let's see how this goes. So from my knowledge on these, I don't know much about them. 
I had one about eight years ago and it wasn't as good as the single jet but quicker so you'd get like 80% of the job for 10% of the time but I guess let's just find out eh <laughs> I don't know what you reckon guys but to me that looks like 100% of the job I can't see a line from where I did the other method, where I did the straight. If anything, it looks better. Maybe. No, same, same. I don't know, what do you reckon? Alright, so I'm going to film a TikTok for this one, I reckon. So give me a minute. Alright, guys, this thing is tits. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube, but I just did. Anyway, so obviously I told you guys I paid the extra money to get the bigger pressure washer. Basically, um, this one was an extra $100. The max PSI was the same, but um, the constant PSI was more or something. Anyway, max PSI, I think this one was like 200 less, but there, I, I did some research on them. Something about a metal casing inside of it or something, whereas the one below it had a plastic casing. I think I might have told the story before, but it actually went into Bunnings and there was one 5,000 in there and <laughs> the guy was looking at the 4,000 and the 5,000 and he was looking, he, I could tell he was looking at both and I saw, and he was like, looked at the 5,000 I was standing there like he was in front of me so like he had first dibs on whatever and then he walked and looked at the 4,000 which was like only a meter but while he walked away I took that as a presumption that he wasn't interested in the 5,000 or like I, I, don't, I wasn't rude I don't think but anyway I picked up the 5,000 straight away as soon as he started to walk away and he's like, oh, what made you grab that one? And I, was, I, I basically just told, you what, told him what I told you guys. Constant pressure is the same. Um, the, a high, I mean, peak pressure is the same, high as such and such. Um, metal casing. And he was like, well, you just sold that to me, but you just took the last one. And I was like, I think it's worth store hunting for this. So I think he was going to look for one. But anyway, my point behind all that is, I'm pretty sure this is where it shines. So the single jet nozzle, your max KPA, it doesn't really matter. But when you've got a higher flow unit like this, it keeps that KPA up with more water flow, I'm guessing. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And if I am wrong, I'll pin the comment that says that I'm wrong. But uh, that's my presumption on the situation. Anyway, I'm just gonna carry on. I thought about doing a time lapse, but if I'm going to be 100% honest, I don't know how to do a time lapse on this camera. <laughs> All right, guys, if you've made it this far, I saved the best bit for last. So let's go. guys I'm probably gonna wrap it up there now I'm just gonna low pressure hose it out with um, with the hose and uh, so obviously all that brown water that's sitting on top now doesn't get sink back in um, so if you didn't really catch the reason why I'm doing this um, I've been bringing Cooper in the fish room way more so um, if you didn't realize Cooper hasn't been in the fish room wasn't didn't come in here more than maybe twice in 
the first 12 months of his life. Um, there's a few reasons. A, mold on the ceiling. I don't really want to put him in that situation. Uh, B, floor's always filthy and it's usually wet. And C, he wasn't walking. So now he walks, so that keeps him off the ground a fair bit. Um, the mold's still there. Uh, I'll probably spray it with vinegar this afternoon. Oh, check this out. The audio's gonna be the wrong way around. Um, but hopefully you can hear me. We've got a girl cleaning the plate there. We've got a girl cleaning the plate there. Hang on. And then I've got this pair together. I'm probably not gonna leave them together. Look at him go. He was actually hiding from her at first. Well, I said I'm probably not going to leave them together. I 100% am not leaving this pair together. Um, but yeah, what was my point? Uh, we're wrapping the video up. Very unprofessional camera turn because I was just catching some crazy shit happening in the back of my eyes. Um, but anyway, so what was I saying? Yeah, we we'll clean the floor, spray the mold, um, get the lids sorted. Lids will s help keep the mold gone um what's what else what else did i just say oh and he's walking so um so basically i think he should be in here it's a huge part of my life he should be invited into my life well he is my life <laughs> uh but anyway yeah let me know if you've made your fish room kids safe and what you did to achieve that. All the fish food is out of his reach. Um, all the fish food's out of his reach. And obviously as he gets taller, I can actually lift the food up and delete it, like take some of the foods out I'm using less and put the ones that I use every day up higher. I, I think it's a kid safe fish room. As safe as it can be anyway. Anyway, let me know what you think. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, Hit the little red button and I'll hopefully see you tomorrow, all the members. It depends what day I post this. Peace out.